we will now look at certain basic principles of measurement uncertainty estimation. And the principle number one is measure and definition. This is an extremely important thing, which sometimes is slightly overlooked. But I'm going to explain why it is extremely important to very clearly define what the measurement is. And I'm going to do that on an example. And let us take this orange as our example. And suppose our aim, our purpose of the analysis, is determination whether this orange is suitable for eating based on its pesticide content, meaning whether there are small enough concentrations of pesticides in this orange. Nowadays, unless it's a purely organically grown food, almost all fruits and vegetables contain small amounts of pesticides. At low levels, they are not really toxic or dangerous, but indeed, the levels must be low. And they must be controlled. And now suppose our purpose is determination of pesticide content in this orange. And now come the questions. Oranges are conserved with pesticides on the surface. So in principle inside orange there should be no pesticides at all. On the other hand, pesticides can diffuse through the orange peel to the inside. Therefore, the first question that comes is whether we just determine pesticides on the orange surface or also in the inside. Maybe we should determine pesticides in the overall orange. But let's look what orange looks like from the inside. we see that it's a far from homogeneous material. At the outside we have the peel, and you see even the peel itself has two layers. One is yellowish, the other is whitish. Then comes the orange uh, fruit part, and finally in the inside there's again a white matter. And also between these fruit slices there are some other, other kinds of materials, meaning this orange has numerous different components, actually numerous different materials involved. And the pesticide content in each of them can be fully different. Therefore, for defining the measurement in the case of analysis of pesticides in the orange, the following decisions have to be made. whether it's overall orange or some part of it. If it is some part, then which part? If it's only peel, then which layer of the peel? So we see there are important questions and all these need to be addressed and clearly answered if we want to get our measurement right. Now, this is even not yet enough. Let us think. We may be interested in our measurement in this one single particular orange, but on the other hand, we may also be interested in the whole lot of oranges where this particular orange or perhaps few oranges have been taken from a sample. 
Therefore, we also must ask the question whether our measurement result relates only to the sample that we took from the whole body of the material or whether it refers to the whole body of material. And now, any of these different parts or the overall orange can be combined with this either sample or full lot so that we can in principle have several measurement definitions just for this analytical task of determining some pesticide content in the orange. And let us look how they could be classified. Only sample. Full lot. So we see that we now have a matrix of eight different possibilities. And the measurement definition must clearly say into which of these eight slots we aim to get.